another day of Vidtober. Today I'm showing you guys how to make really easy treats based on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is the second video in my Harry Potter treats series, so be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the videos in this series as well as the rest of the Vidtober videos this month. If you haven't checked out my treats video inspired by Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, then I will link that below as well. Each of the recipes in this video and all of the Harry Potter treats videos have a little difficulty indicator up in the corner just to give you an idea of how easy, medium, or hard it might be to make a certain treat so that you can, you know, gauge how much time it'll take you to make it and the difficulty or skill level related to making that treat. So without further ado, let's get into the recipes. recipe I have for you guys today is a follow the spiders cheesecake. This recipe makes one large cheesecake or six small individual sized cheesecakes. We're going to start off by making the base of the cheesecake which is so easy to make because it's only three ingredients. You'll just need one cup of pitted medjool dates. It ends up being around 12 dates. Then you'll need one cup of raw unsalted cashews. And finally you'll need a pinch of salt. I used pink Himalayan salt. So go ahead and add all these ingredients to a food processor and process on high until the texture becomes kind of like wet sand that sticks together just like this. Next, take a spoon and scoop the base into whatever cheesecake molds you'll be using, whether it's a large pan, like I said, or smaller individual cheesecakes. I also used my fingers to press down the base really hard so that it would be a really smooth, solid layer at the bottom. Now just stick these in the fridge or freezer to set while you make the filling. To make the filling for these super delicious vegan cheesecakes, you'll just need a few ingredients and a high-speed blender. First, you'll need two cans of coconut cream. I actually really prefer this brand to other brands of coconut cream, but you honestly can use whichever kind you would like. I also placed mine in the fridge beforehand so that the coconut cream would solidify at the top of the can. Add two full cans of coconut cream to your high-speed blender. Next, you'll need two cups of raw unsalted cashews, and you'll need to either soak them overnight or boil them for 20 minutes. Either way, as soon as the cashews have been hydrated, drain all of the water and add them to the blender as well. Next, you'll need to add one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Just be very careful with this step and only add one tablespoon because if you add more it starts to taste like a lemon flavored cheesecake rather than just a classic cheesecake. Next you'll need a fourth of a cup of maple syrup, one pinch of salt, I used pink Himalayan salt, and finally one teaspoon of a vanilla extract. Once all of your ingredients are in your high speed blender, go ahead and blend until it is very very smooth. This might take several minutes just to make sure that the cashews are completely blended up and that the mixture does not taste gritty at all and is like a very smooth consistency. Once you've reached a really smooth consistency, you can go ahead and pour your cheesecake mixture into the molds right on top of the base layer. And finally, place your cheesecake in the freezer for two hours so it has time to set, but don't leave it in there for over two hours or it will be too solid to make the spiderweb topping. So to make this super easy spiderweb topping, you're going to go ahead and grab your cheesecakes out of the freezer and start with putting some chocolate store-bought icing into a piping bag. Then you're going to want to start in the very center of the cheesecake and make a small ring and then continue making larger and larger rings until you reach about a quarter inch away from the edge of the cheesecake. Next, you will need a toothpick. Start from the center of the cheesecake and drag your toothpick in a straight line towards the edge of the cheesecake, making little lines to create the spider web. cute little spider webs are on the top of the cheesecake so you can go ahead and freeze them for at least four hours. I topped mine with some little plastic Halloween spiders. I think I actually got these from a friend a few years ago and then we've just saved them for like years and years and used them in our Halloween decorations. But if you don't have any I would highly suggest borrowing some from a friend or checking out your local thrift store to see if you can find any rather than just buying them new. I talked about this a little bit more in my Halloween decor thrifting vlog as well as my video of how to be more eco-friendly when it 
comes to Halloween decorations. So I'll link both of those in the description as well if you want to check them out. And you guys, I think these little cheesecakes are so cute. They're so easy to make. They're relatively pretty healthy. And I just think that these are so fun to make if you're going to have a Harry Potter movie marathon. Okay, guys, moving on to the next treat, which is my take on Polyjuice Potion. Now, in the world of Harry Potter, Polyjuice Potion is something that is incredibly difficult to make. In fact, it was so impressive that Hermione was able to even make this since she was just 12 years old. But this recipe is actually really, really easy. So for this recipe, you're going to start off with filling a glass about halfway with some plant-based milk. I used Ripple Milk here. I really like it because it's high in protein and B vitamins. Then this next step is optional, but I added a couple of drops of green food coloring as well as one drop of blue food coloring. Again, completely optional. You can skip it if you want to, but I just thought it was really fun to make the colors pop in this brew. So next, I added a few scoops of pistachio ice cream. I use the brand Nanamu. I think it's so good and creamy for a plant-based ice cream. It doesn't have an icy texture that you'll sometimes find in other vegan ice creams. I think that this brand always tastes really, really creamy overall. So like I said, I added a couple of scoops of pistachio ice cream, and then I filled the glass the rest of the way with cream soda. I really like the carbonation that the cream soda adds to this drink, and I actually think the flavors of the pistachio and cream soda go really great together as well. Polyjuice Potion was said to be a very thick and kind of clumpy texture, so I think that the ice cream adds to that really well. And it was also said to be bubbling and sizzling, so I think that the cream soda does a great job with like adding that dimension to the drink. Finally, this is an extra step as well, but I went ahead and topped mine with some non-dairy Ready Whip. I use the almond flavor rather than the coconut flavor because I just prefer that one. And then I also topped it with some chopped pistachios as well. This Polyjuice Potion inspired float was actually so good, you guys. I really, really recommend you try this. It only takes just a few minutes to throw together. And it's just so fun to drink it while you're watching the movie. If you don't like pistachio ice cream, you could always make this with a different green ice cream. You could try making a mint chocolate chip milkshake, or you could make one using lime sorbet and a lemon lime flavored soda. It's pretty much up to you, but I honestly really like the pistachio and cream soda combination. So let me know if you guys try it out. All right, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed this recipe video. I hope you take time to make the Follow Your Spiders cheesecake, pour yourself some polyjuice potion. If you make any of these recipes, please let me know what you guys think. I love hearing from you in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the videos that are coming out every single day of this month, and be sure to follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more pictures and more fall recipes in general. I am sending you guys so much love, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.